to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Danielle and today I am continuing on my life series. Sorry if the lighting is horrible. Let me see. I am in my car recording this, which is typical, but I'm at a different angle. Anyway, so I'm continuing my life series and we're going to pick up in seventh grade. This is the story how I became known as the school ho. Yes. So where I left off on my last story, I was in sixth grade and I was with that little boy, Mousy, and that was my boyfriend. And we were together for about six months until we weren't. Uh, basically, Mousy ended up breaking up with me for the girl that I was going to fight in sixth grade. And yeah, that was the end of that. Basically in seventh grade, all these little boys liked me for some reason. Seventh and eighth grade, I was a fugly little kid. I didn't understand why I got so much attention. I was really shy, really quiet. Um, I had crooked teeth and I was just like not a cute kid, but for some reason, all of these little boys liked me. Maybe it was because my boobs came in early. I don't know, but all these little boys liked me. I had two boys asking me to be their girlfriend at the same exact time. One of them we'll call Mario and the other one we'll call Jose. So me and Mario had actually been really good friends from the year prior because we were in the same homeroom class. And I really liked Mario. Mario was a cute little boy. Like he was super cute, super funny, super outgoing. And he was like a cool kid. Jose, on the other hand, was also super cute, super good looking, had colored eyes, was really tall, but I had never talked to Jose before. So one day after school, they both asked me to be their girlfriend at the same time. Jose and Mario were best friends. And I thought Mario was joking around. I thought he was only asking me to be his girlfriend because Jose was asking me to be his girlfriend. And so I was even taken back like, are you? Are you kidding me with, like right now? Like, are you being serious? Like, do you really want to be my boyfriend? Because I really liked Mario. Like, I didn't like him like him, but like I really liked him as a friend. And I had never talked to Jose before. And so Mario was like, yeah, you have to make a decision. Like, do you want to be with me or do you want to be with Jose? And so I really thought Mario was just joking around with me. And honestly, I had no business of them, either one of them being my boyfriend because I didn't like either one of them. I had no interest in either one of them. I, but Danielle didn't know how to make decisions for herself or Danielle didn't know how to react in uncomfortable situations. So I ended up choosing Jose to be my boyfriend. And so me and Jose were like all like cute together. We'd be holding hands during lunch, holding hands before class, after class, during break. We would walk to 7-Eleven, be holding hands. Like we just thought we were so freaking cute. And he used, like he was really sweet to me. Like he made me feel like really like confident and all this stuff. Like he was just really sweet. And yeah. <laughs> so then Jose ended up having to go out of town because his dad lived in a different state, so he went to go visit his dad. And during this time, I don't know what it was with the seventh grade girls, but they used to like to chase the little boys around and vice versa on the football field, or like the field that they used to play football on. It was not a football field. And so all the little seventh grade girls would be playing tag with all the boys, and part of the game, we would be like smacking each, other, each other's asses. Sorry. And so here Danielle goes playing with all her little friends, not taking into consideration that she has a boyfriend. And so she's smacking all the boys' asses and vice versa. Like we were literally just playing tag. It was an innocent game, like whatever. The whole school's playing it. Well, not the whole school, but like the whole seventh grade class, okay? And so word gets back to Jose that I had been, you know, playing tag, blah, blah, blah. And so all of a sudden people are like, oh, that's a little weird. You have a boyfriend. Like, why are you playing? But nobody said shit when I was actually playing the game. Everybody just wanted to have an opinion afterward. So it came to me that Jose was actually going to break up with me. Mario had actually told me like, hey, Jose wasn't happy that you were playing tag with everybody and he's going to break up with you basically. And so as soon as I saw Jose, it was not even a conversation. I just told him it's over. Like I just broke up with him right on the spot. And that was that. So the same day, Jose is obviously his 
feelings are hurt with me. So he ends up talking all kinds of crap about me. And so my friends, including Mario, tell me you have to make him jealous. You have to, you have to make him jealous. And so there was a boy standing there and another boy who I'd never talked to before. And I had known of him from sixth grade, but he was in a different class than me. So we had never had any conversation. I actually knew him because the girl that I got arrested with, I forgot what I named her. She used to have a crush on him. So that's why I knew of him. So she was actually part of this group that we were playing tag with and part of this group that were telling me that I have to make Jose jealous. So Mario and the girl I got arrested with, I forgot her name, were convincing me, you have to make him jealous. And then they turn to this boy, we'll call him Robert. I don't even know if I've used that name before. So they tell Robert, like, why don't you and Danielle pretend to be boyfriend and girlfriend to make Jose jealous? And so here I go using this boy to make somebody jealous. And I had no feelings for this boy. I had never talked to him, but it, it was just gonna be for pretend. Plus, what can be the harm in that? Everybody's convincing us to do it to make somebody jealous, okay? And so we agree. And so this all went down around lunchtime. So now it's after school. And I used to, at this point, used to take the late bus home because I used to get to hang out with my friends a little bit longer. And so we're all after school, like the whole group of us, um, Mario, Robert, the girl I got arrested with, and a couple of other girls and boys, we're all hanging out. We thought we were so cool. And so it turns out that Robert actually has feelings for me. And although I was just pretending, he actually wanted to be my boyfriend. And again, Danielle has no say so, no opinion, no nothing of her own. So she agrees. So I just broke up with Jose and the same day, I went from pretending to have a new boyfriend to officially having a new boyfriend. So, of course, that did not settle well with any of the other girls that were outside my friend group. And so everybody was like, Danielle's a fucking hoe, calling me all kinds of names in the book, just spreading all kinds of rumors. Like, you would think that I was sleeping with these people or like doing something inappropriate. It went from, I had one boyfriend. Yeah, it was kind of inappropriate to be playing the game of tag that everybody else was but whatever, it is what it is. So I went from having a pretend boyfriend to having a real boyfriend since I could not say no. So I obviously, I apparently had no say so of myself or like no say so on my own or whatever, didn't know how to speak up for myself. So I ended up with a real boyfriend. And then after talking to him and everything like that, like I actually started developing feelings for this kid. And so this all went down within the first two months of school. I made it official with this second boy, Robert, in October, like everything happened so quickly. And um, I ended up staying with Robert through almost the end of the school year up until about May. How many months is that? Seven? So we were together for seven months. And then he ends up being a little F boy back in the day and basically cheating slash leaving me for this other girl. I actually want to say we were together through the whole school year, but maybe not um, because I remember talking to him in the summer, but then him trying to play us both. And she was the girl, if you watch my bully video in seventh grade, she was the girl that yelled out at the top of her lungs for Macy Steps, Danielle's a fucking bitch. And it had echoed through the whole school. He left me for that girl. So that's how like that drama kind of started between us. But yeah, after that, Danielle was just known as a major hoe. There was no living down that reputation, that name. Like everybody just had it out for me. A lot of the girls were actually really jealous of me. I not, I'm not trying to sound conceited or anything like that, but that's how I took it because I got a lot of hate. I remember being friends with boys and then girls telling them, you better not be friends with her. Like you need to choose her or us. And even though they were just like my friend. So I had a lot of, lot of, a lot of hate in middle school. Yeah, if you guys enjoy these story times, I'm going to keep making them. So please keep on watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.